Hello everyone, I am starting a new series for total beginners to Linux operating systems. To be specific, I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and with this video we are going to start to learn how to use Ubuntu. If you have not installed Ubuntu yet, you can check my previous videos on how to install Ubuntu from scratch. Now, today I am going to go over the 10 basic commands that you are going to need right at the very beginning. So, this is going to be video number 1, but I will post regular videos uh, in the coming weeks. So, let us start our terminal. So, I am just booted up into our operating system, I just started the computer and we are going to go into the terminal. Now, you can type terminal, I have also made a shortcut to my favorite bar. So, you can do that by right clicking and add it. So, for me I have already added, so I get removed from favorite, but you can actually do it right now. So, you can open terminal pretty quickly. Okay. Now, when we start the terminal, the location that we are in that is called our home directory. This is also the same thing if you click on this files icon. Now, you can see these are the different folders that I have and one file. Folders are also called directories in Linux. Now, I am in the same location when I open the terminal and you can verify that using a command called ls. So, that is going to be our first command ls. So, ls is going to list all the files and directories in your current location. So, you can see these are the exact same thing. We get all the directories in blue and then white is our file list.txt. So, again ls that is the command for listing the files. There are different formats of that command. So, you can add additional arguments like you can change the command a little bit. So, ls, uh, ls dash a and if you do enter now you can see other files which has this dot in the beginning. So, those are hidden files that you did not see in the beginning. Sometimes you might need that. For now, we do not need to do that. Uh, so, we only do ls. Another in interesting command is ls dash l and this will show you additional information for each of the files such as the file size like 4096, file permissions on the left hand side. Maybe this does not make a lot of sense to you right now, but that is ok. I am going to cover more advanced things in the future, but for now we can use ls to see the files in the directory. So, that is our command 1. The next command that we can do is pretty useful is sometimes you know we have a lot of stuff on the screen. So, let us we want to clear the screen. So, just simply type clear and yeah you just cleared your screen. So, nothing was removed you just clear the terminal and you can go back and find those commands again, but for now say I want to just clear the terminal. Now, ok, so we know how to list the files, how to clear the terminal. The next command is going to be how to see our current location. So, we know that he, we are in our these home directories, you can see on the left hand side home. How do we see that on our terminal? So, the command to do that is pwd and that shows ok, I am inside home slash sada. So, that is my username. This is our current location and let us use ls. I have another folder say desktop. So, let us try to go in desktop like change our location. So, to do that the third command that we learn is called cd which is change directory. So, you type cd and then the location that you want to go to. So, let us say I want to go to a desktop. So, type d e s and you do not really need to type the entire word. You can use, use the tab button on your keyboard and Linux will automatically fill the rest of it for you. So, that is very nice. I did not need to type in the entire word and press. We are inside the desktop now. 
So, location changed, say verify that PWD, okay, and now this are new location. I can use ls to see whether there are any files. No, there are not. So, we can verify that. So, let us see we are going inside desktop. Yeah, it is empty. So, we see the same thing on our terminal. Now, we can also go back to our previous location using cd. Again, change directory. Now, if you want to go back, all you need to do is you do two periods or and that is going to take you back to your previous location. So, now you know how to use change directory. If I want to go inside say downloads, I type cd and say downloads and we are inside downloads now. Again ls, of course, I do not have anything inside downloads, so we do not get any results. So, let us go back to our home directory. Now, you could combine sometimes say uh, two of these commands too. So, you change directory and also list files. So, that is something we can do. So, let us switch to a directory. So, I do cd desktop and so you actually have to do two ampersands and ls. So, that shows you inside uh, desktop like all the files. Of course, we do not have any results. So, we do not get anything. So, this could be also helpful. Okay. Now, inside desktop I do not have anything right. So, again I verified. So, let us create something. So, that is going to be our next command how to create a file in Linux. The command is called touch and your file name. So, I am going to say new file and let us give it maybe a text file. So, txt, this is going to be a new file and when I do that, you can see on the corner, bottom right corner, I have this new file and also I can verify that by clicking ls. Yes, now I get a result that new file has been created. We could also see other information of ls. So, that is by ls l. We can see, hey, this new file has a size of 0. It was created on December 3rd. Oh, okay. So, we have a lot of information on the screen now. So, let us clear the terminal. All right. Now, we have in the new file. So, how do we? So, the file is empty now, of course. So, we can go inside that file and maybe add some text. Of course, we can do that by just clicking that file, double click that file, and the file is going to be open. So, add some text. When we are done, we can save that and then close that file. Now, say I do not want to do that using the graphical user interface, rather how do we do that using the terminal? So, we open that file using a text editor and that command is going to be g edit. So, this text editor is already inside your operating system, you do not have to install it. So, that is nice. There are other commands, but for now say we use g edit and the file name. Of course, the file name is new file and because we can use that tab on our keyboard, I do not have to type the entire file name. So, gedit new file dot txt enter. Yeah, now it is open. So, let us go ahead and add some more text. Say hello world. We save that and close it and say verify. Yes, we did it. Yeah, so we can see the text. And now, if I list the file, we can see the file size is changed. It is no longer 0. So, it is changed to 30 because now we have some content inside the file. All right. So, we have learned how to create a file. So, let us create another file. So, file 2 and maybe another file. So, file 3. So, now we know how to create files. What about directories or folders? So, to create folders, the command is mkdir. 
or make directory so mkdir and the name of the directory so i'm going to call this new folder and yeah we get a new folder as you can see on the right hand side we can also see that using that ls command so yeah we have a new folder of course we can go inside that new folder using cd command and if i see if there are anything inside of course it's empty let's go back to desktop so cd dash da it's a dot dot we go back and if i do ls you can see a new folder uh, so maybe i want to create another folder so we can do mkdir and i'm going to call this folder 2 okay so we have learned how to create files and how to create folders now something that we have to do every day is copying and pasting files moving files and deleting files so those are the last things that we do in today's video so let's start with copying so we have some files right file 2 3 and this new file txt so let's see how we can create some copies i'm going to clear the terminal first so now i want to copy this new file.txt the command to do that is cp so that's for copying the file and then the next thing that you should do is give it the input file name so what do you want to copy i want to copy new file.txt so that's my file name next what should be your new file name after you copy so the output file name so i'm gonna say out dot txt so after copying i should get this file and when i do that say i have this new file and if i open it yeah i get the exact copy of new file dot txt i can also check whether we actually created the file so ls yeah i have out dot txt now so that was how we could copy a single file uh, in our same directory where we are uh, and we could also copy the directory itself like say i want to copy a folder so i have new folder and let's say i want to copy that folder so the command would be cp and new folder oh so it should be yes so that's the name so copy new folder and what should be the new name for your folder now let's uh, give it a new name so as i get folder copy now you can see i got an error and this was expected because when i try to copy a directory and you'll see this repeated in the future too you need to give it an argument called dash r and that means repeated because when you have this recursive operation when you are copying a directory you should always do dash r so cp dash r and this time it worked so when you are dealing with some kind of folders we should add dash r and if i do ls yeah i got this folder copy so now we know how to copy a file how to copy a directory we could also now try to move files say all of uh, uh, these folders they're all empty right so folder copy is empty our folder 2 is empty so let's say maybe we don't want to keep them empty anymore <laughs> so we want to move some of our file inside them how do we do that so to co the command for moving files is mv so write mv then so i want to move which file so maybe file 1 and i want to move this inside so our newest folder which is folder copy so if i do that i'm going to move that file now oh file 1 sorry i <coughs> there is no file 1 we have file 2 so i want to move file 2 inside folder copy 
and yeah it actually went inside folder copy so you can see it's empty now and if i go inside folder copy i have file 2 let's move another file inside that so we can do mv and file 3 inside folder copy yeah so file 3 is also moved so folder copy now has two files inside it and the last command say so how we can uh, relate it to this file operations now we want to maybe delete files so right now i have a couple of files so new file.txt and out.txt so i want to delete out.txt so the command to do that is rm so rm is for remove and then out.txt and it's gone you can see it's gone on the right hand side also you can do ls and see yes it's really gone we could also maybe delete that new file using the same command so rm new file.txt and that is also gone now if you try to delete a folder though you're going to get an error if you try to use the same command so let's try that first and i'll show you how to solve that problem so let's try to delete our folder copy directory now when i try to use our command it says no you can't do that and this happens because the we need to use that dash r when you try to delete folder copy and now it worked so anytime you're dealing with a directory try dash r so that was all for today we learned about how to work with operating systems basics and creating files deleting files thank you and please like and subscribe if you found the video helpful i'm gonna show some more advanced commands in my next video